Greetings fellow hunters, Vitifus back once again. I'm not going to be doing a Let's Play right now. Um, I'm just going to put a video up on my site. I'm pretty sure not too many people are going to find it. But I've seen a couple tutorials on YouTube about how to use MSI Afterburner to record video. But then I saw so many people commenting my hotkey doesn't work. I set a hotkey. I can't get her to work. I can't record. Nobody answered these people. I finally found the answer. It took a while. I I looked at a couple different things, um, but I finally did get it, and I wanted to give just a straight answer to people who may find this and they don't know how to uh, get their hotkey to work because I have fixed that problem trust me and I've got it to work every time so just bear with me here and we will go right along anyway first if you don't have an MSI graphics card I'm guessing it's gonna look like this it's blank blank everything's blank here you, you can detach this but why it doesn't matter none of this works none of this works none of this works I don't even think this works but you need the settings. This is what you want. You can you can change these if you want. Um, I tend not to. Uh, you probably could do this too, but I don't really do that either. What you're going to want is the video capture. And when you get this, this is going to say none the first time you do this. You just click it, hit any key that you want to be able to record videos with. I use end because I'm just used to that. Um, Here's your compression module. I'm not too sure about it. MJPG seems to be really quite good. I have the quality set at 85% because I don't need that much. Half a frame. You can actually change the size that you're recording, which is not, uh, very nifty. I'm not going to play around with it too much because I'm not looking for high quality because this computer just can't handle it. Uh, there's your frame rate here. 30 FPS seems to be pretty good. Uh, frame rate limit, I just disable it. This is where you um, put in the folder that you want your videos to save to. You can just browse or view the folder. Uh, you want to go down here. I'm not too sure about this video capture compatibility properties. I didn't mess with any of this. I just left it automatic, left all these unchecked. Um, and then here's the best part. Audio source 1 and audio source 2 which means it can record in-game audio along with your voice, which is nice. You also have your push to talk hotkey, you know, a lot like Ventrilo or I think TeamSpeak had that as well. Um, so that's really great. I have it to auto select because obviously it, it seems to do well because honestly, I don't know what this is. I, I don't understand this. These were options I never got with Bandicam so I didn't worry about that in auto select. Um, for my testing videos I've been able to get in-game audio and my commentary just by auto select. So if you can get it that way, why not? Mix multiple audio tracks. I think that's basically what you're going to want to be able to mesh them together. I think... I don't know what would happen if you don't check that, but I have it checked because I'm pretty sure it's necessary. Anyway, those are the settings you basically want. Once you have your hotkey, you're going to want to start recording right away. It should work just fine if you're just doing a testing recording. Because MSI Afterburner, it, it does work. And you're going to think, wow, this is great. This is great. I want to record a game now. You're going to open a game, and you're going to find what so many people have found. My hotkey doesn't work anymore. I have figured out how to fix this. I don't know why it doesn't work. I think it's because I don't have an MSI graphics card and probably most people don't. I think maybe if you do, it's able to detect programs and record the program itself. But for us that don't have an MSI graphics card, there is still a way that we can record gameplay. You just click this little eye here. You want to see this video capture module that's always going to be open. That is basically this little plane with the uh, number here. Um, and this active 3D process not detected. That's what you want to see. I guarantee when you run a game, you can look at this and you're going to see the game's process right there. 
once this detects anything, it just breaks itself, basically. And I'm thinking, like I said, it's probably because I do not have an MSI graphics card. Maybe people with graphics cards that are MSI, they can do this. But I've figured out a workaround. As you can tell, not detected, yet I'm still running Septera Core. And that was one of the ones when I started running it, it detected Septera.exe. If it detects anything other than not detected, as far as I can tell, it will not let you record. So, here is the workaround. So say you want to record World of Warcraft, which I do not have on this computer because it is a piece of junk. And not World of Warcraft. That's not a piece of junk. This computer is a piece of junk. Anyway, you want to click this right here, just single click, and you open the Riva Tuner Statistics Server Technology. I don't know what it is. Who cares about that? doesn't matter. All you need to know is global. You can change processes one at a time if you want, but that's incredibly slow. If you wanted to record any game at all, I would recommend, because it's going to look something like this when you get in here, it's going to say application detection level low. So if it's detecting your applications, you want to go and click none. It will stop this all dark, make sure you're on global, any of this stuff really doesn't matter because if you don't have an MSI graphics card you can't see the on-screen display anyway. I'm recording right now and I don't see an FPS up here either. So, basically you just want this application detection level none, then minimize this, and then you're going to want to shut down MSI. I'm not going to do that because it'll stop recording. That's what happened last time. I just wanted to make sure it would actually stop recording. So it will, and then you will want to restart MSI Afterburner. Make sure your, um, your process is still running like this, or um, make sure that you open it and check here and make sure it's not detected. If the process is no longer detected, it believes you're still on your desktop. Um, it, it's because it seems like if you don't have an MSI graphics card, all it can um, record is your desktop. If anything is running, it wants to try to record that, but apparently without that graphics card, it just can't. It just doesn't know how. So, I mean, I have tried everything else. This is the only workaround I can figure. And it works every time. Trust me, I've made like 12 videos. Not ones that I'm actually uploading to YouTube, but just a bunch of test videos trying to get this audio to work, trying to get the video, every everything, trying to get that hotkey to work. This is the only guaranteed way. Just remember to shut down MSI Afterburner first, because you have to restart it for it to re-detect that there's nothing detectable, because you want that not detected. If you do not see not detected, make sure you go here, and I just do global application detection level none. You can do it, like I said, by program, but that just takes a, it's a real pain in the ass. You can also, if your program's not here, you can push the plus button here, find your program, use the browse, anything like that. But honestly, I would just suggest using global. This will make it like any normal screen recorder. And yes, it will record your game, just, it just thinks it's at the desktop. I'm not sure how to get rid of the arrow. I've still been trying to figure that one out because I was playing with Septera Core and it still had my Windows arrow as well, which is not good because it has its own arrow. Um, that might be in the settings somewhere. I'm not really sure. This settings is pretty useless. Absolutely. It's pretty much useless. This is, don't even mess with it. The settings you want to mess with is this. Um, I'm just not sure. I don't see anything about getting the pointer off the screen. I just uh, don't know. It might be just something that has to be there. I'm not sure. There might be there might be some way of doing it, but honestly, I do not know. Even in general, I can't figure it out. But honestly, most of this stuff is going to be darkened out if you don't have an MSI video card because MSI Afterburner is an overclocking 
program for overclocking CPU and fans, fan speeds, memory clocking, and all that. If you don't have an MSI graphics card, it's just basically going to look like this. But you can still use MSI Predator, which is the video capture. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, please uh, post any comments or anything like that. I'll try and help you as much as I can. But remember, I am still new to this program as well. Um, so far, I'd recommend it. I think it's great. It's got no watermark. It's got it's, it has decently small files. The files aren't, you know, they're not too small. You know, you're not going to record like a 30-minute video and end up being, whoa, damn, it's only 3 megabytes? No, that's not going to happen. 30-minute videos are going to be pretty, pretty big. But you can always use Windows Media Player to condense it down. But as far as I can tell, if you want a recorder that has no watermark, and no time limit, obviously, because uh, people are saying Fraps is good, but unless you register Fraps, you can only record 30 second videos. Now, like I said, if you have any questions, post a comment on my channel, uh, post a comment on this video. I check comments all the time. I check my channel daily. So uh, definitely subscribe. I'm going to be using this for some more Let's Plays. Um, who knows, I might actually be able to do some of the games I didn't get to do because Bandicam was... Bandicam just didn't like running in its uh, rectangle on screen mode. It made everything extremely laggy. Whereas, maybe this won't. And maybe I can crop the video myself, I'm not really sure. If it's not a rectangle on screen, I don't know how I'm going to record a very tiny window, but I guess we'll get to it. Maybe I'll be able to give you guys some DS uh, Let's Plays. Anyway, guys, this video has been going on a little bit long. Like I said, got any questions, post it in the comments or channel comments. And I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. Stay sharp, fellow hunters, and Vitavis out.